Hey, it's Kasha, intuitive healer and energy artist. Um, I was chatting with a friend today and telling her um, we're looking for solutions for, you know, what, what we found out yesterday that we possibly have to move. And she's at the end of our conversation, she said, um, do you have anything else that you want to add or something that you, you know, something else that you want to voice? And my initial reaction was, yes, of course, I want to keep talking about this. But the truth is, I didn't really feel the need to keep talking about it because we have a solution. I've done the mindset work. I feel really good about what's going on. But the habit of wanting to talk about it and talk about it and talk about it to death was really strong. And I wanted to bring this up today because even though you can heal from um, the emotions and the you know, any pain. Of course, I didn't feel much pain around this situation, but um, you can heal from the emotions that were haunting you before, especially if you've had trauma or any kind of drama in your life. But we still have the habits of wanting to be in the old way. You know, so, so the conversations we have, the things we talk about, um, the things we even do that want to keep that drama alive in our life, even though it's no longer there. Um, so this was really interesting for me because, you know, I always do the work now and I always make sure I spend a lot enough time, like this morning it was a lot, but I spend enough time on my own mindset work to um, get my mind back in the game of whatever it is that I want and how I want to feel. But the, the old habits can take a little bit longer to transform into something new. So in order uh, to get the result that I want and uh, really feel the feelings that I want to feel, I can't indulge that old habit of wanting to talk about some old situation that was bringing me pain before. We have to do the work to practice the new ways of being, the new habits, the new rhythms of, and flows of life that will... Um, that will cement the healing and bring us forward into um, into the new way that we want to be. So a good example of this is imagine you break your arm and the first thing you do, of course, is go to the doctor, get an x-ray, get a cast. Once your arm is healed, that cast is taken off. You then go back to using your arm just regularly, right? You don't have to pretend that it's broken anymore because it's not. The cast did its job your body did its job, your arm healed. So having a habit of wanting to talk about old trauma after you've healed it is like pretending that your arm is still broken when it isn't. You might need physiotherapy to strengthen the muscles of your arm. You're going to need, you know, habit therapy, so to speak, to strengthen new habits and new ways of being. But it's really worth the work. Because after you heal something and you remove the energetic footprint of that out of your body and your energy field, um, it no longer impacts you unless you invite it back in. And that's what old habits do is they invite the old shit back in and really mess up your vibration. Um, so I'm really glad I, I identified this habit, I think, uh, of wanting to talk about old old stuff that just doesn't serve me anymore. And I'm really grateful to my friend uh, for helping me see that. And I invite you to let me know, you know, what habits have you struggled with? What habits are you in the habit of doing that, if you really look at it, aren't helping you anymore and you'd really like to change? Um, it's It's definitely worth doing the work. Anyways, have an awesome day. I will see you again soon.